so cute. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Capitalism really popped off today, ladies. <laughs> This and this, they're the same thing. Dupes, dupes. Give them a try. Let me know what you think. Y'all better come up here and get one of these. What's that? It's a chicken salad. From where? 81st Deli. So my name, my name is Bella Hadid. Okay, let's go. Are you wearing the, sh the Chanel boots? Yeah, I am. You look good. So I'm in Target and I see these black girl <gasps> hair products. It's so and then it all made sense. How cute. TikTok made me buy it. This is the new door bottom seal. It can soundproof and block the wind. It can also prevent the entry of mosquitoes and insects. This human-sized dog bed has a 10-inch border and a memory foam base that lets you step in and lie down so you can comfortably relax. There's enough space for your family, you can place it by your bedside, and it comes with a full fur blanket as a machine washable. I get so frustrated when I try to plug stuff in to my power strip and it doesn't fit. So this thing, you can like change it to fit whatever you're plugging in. This is literally genius. I literally needed this so bad. I saw a girl on here saying Arabian oil is the way to go. Like this makes you smell good all day and girl. A little bit of this Choco Musk. You will have people chasing you down the street asking you why you smell like vanilla cupcake. Willy Wonka would be asking what you're wearing because you smell like a snack, a sweet snack. Oscar's new enrichment toy has arrived. So we're literally going to open these up. They're connected inside so they're not going to fall out. I'm going to put a couple of treats in each one. Roll it back up and push it back in. So now I've filled them all up. Let's give it to Oscar. Clever boy in the house is on it. TikTok made me buy. This is portable hand soap, which come in these cool strips, and they dissolve once you put them in water. So it's perfect on the go. This is a motion sensor light for your toilet. Right when you walk in, it makes any of these cool colors. This is a soda can dispenser for your fridge or counter. Once you take a soda from the bottom, another one replaces it. A lot of you were wondering what a tubing mascara is. I don't really know, but I googled it. Apparently, the difference between this mascara and a regular mascara is that this mascara is made of polymers. Whatever that means. Basically, it tubes itself around your lashes. It's also less smudgy. But the coolest part about this mascara is how it comes off. If you're a pin collector or you just want a cute way to display your pins, you need this bag. So it comes like this. It even has one that has a bigger window so that your pins are secure. And then it also comes in black with the same concept. Either you could get the big window or the small window. Clearly, I got the pink one. So these are resin thumb savers. I make them in my store and sell them online. 
Um, you can see here the way that I'm holding this book with my pinky finger and my thumb. That actually puts a lot of strain on your wrist and your hand. And what the thumb saver does is just put your hand in a much more natural position while holding the pages open for you so that it doesn't bother you after such a long time. Look what we found at Walmart. Roku remote covers. It's like for those Wii remote things. Okay, I think you just put it. Stop because this is so cute. Look. And these glow in the dark too. These Bee Vision bee cups are made of porcelain. They collect a teaspoon of water for thirsty pollinators. The color and texture of these cups mimics the way flowers attract bees. Each one has a ring of glaze that reacts to UV light. Bees see UV color, but we can only see it with a black light. Learn more at beecups.com. And there she is. Honestly, it was not that hard to put together. It comes with a key. I probably just always leave that in there. But I literally can fit so much more. But the best thing about it, so you have to lift this up to turn it on. You lift it up slide it and it lights up Butcher the name, but I believe it's called Mayar Latafa. Correct me because I know I'm wrong. First things first, it is strong, honey. You only need a few sprays for your whole body. You don't need much. Right off the bat, you get the fruitiness and the sweetness, right? As soon as you smell it. It has a little bit of like a like a tiny, tiny bit of alcohol because it's really strong. This will last you a long time. What you're gonna spend on this versus going to Nordstrom's or Macy's and spending $200 on a perfume, baby, you're better off with this one. It smells peachy, fruity, and they're like when you walk in the room, definitely. But that's why I said don't put too much on. 40 bucks, I'm a sweet girl, I like to smell like fruits and this is definitely one I'm going to keep at the top of my fragrance list. I've never ordered an Arabian perfume. This is my first one, but now that I know how pigmented they are, I'm definitely going to order more. There's, you can get anything from sweet to musk and everything in between. Okay, so I have an idea. This is like one of my all-time favorite t-shirts, but it has a stain on it and I have tried everything, and I mean everything, to get this stain out and it will not come out. So I thought, what if I just dye the shirt a darker brown color to hide the stain? And then while I got this chocolate brown dye, I also thought, hey, maybe I could dye this top, which clearly you can see still has the tags on it. I've never worn it because it's a really cute top, but the color is like almost my exact skin tone and it just looks weird on me. So I think it would look better in a really dark chocolate brown and then I'll actually wear it because it's a cute top. But I've never tried this dye before and I've never tried to like dye on top of clothes like this. So we're just gonna see. I got the synthetic dye only because that was really all they had at Walmart and I'm really not sure Sure what the fabric contents of these tops are they're both like soft stretchy shirts i'm pretty sure it's some sort of cotton nylon blend but either of them have the tags that show you what they're made out of so i don't know instead to use a stainless steel pot and boil some water this is the biggest pot i have hopefully it's big enough i'll probably have to do them one at a time the water is starting to boil and they said add in a little bit of dish detergent 
Shake well. I guess I'm gonna pour the whole thing in there. It said to wet the clothes first, and now that I did that, I think they both will fit in this pot at the same time. So here goes nothing. Ah. I have a little bit too much water in this pot, I think. And then it says you gotta stand here and stir it around for 30 to 60 minutes. It's already taken the dye really well though, so I think 30 minutes should be fine. I looked away for two minutes and it started boiling over. Ugh. But it's been about 25 minutes now and I think we're good. Like, honestly, I don't have the patience for this, so I'm about to start rinsing. I rinsed them out as much as I could and they are looking black, so hopefully whenever they're washed and dried, they will look brown and not black, because I didn't want black. Final results after washing and drying. I'm happy with it. And it's kind of cool how they came out like slightly different colors because they were like a different base, obviously. Like this is wearable, okay.